So first and foremost, what is blue light and why is it so bad? Now this color is found on the visible light spectrum at a segment between 400 to 700 nanometers. So each color in this spectrum does differentiate in the amount of energy it carries with it and that is usually defined uh, by the frequency of wavelengths. The more energy it carries, the worse for us. Now blue light uh, against, in contrast to the red light, as you see in this graphic, has shorter wavelengths, hence it carries a higher amount of energy, which uh, is riskier for our eyes, so more damaging. Blue light below 460 nanometer is what is linked with retinal damage because of the high energy radiation of blue to violet light which is very dangerous light for our thin layer of the retina guess which has even shorter wavelengths you guessed it right ultraviolet known as uv rays which sits between 100 to 380 nanometer you all wear sunglasses that are certified with uv protection usually rated as uv 400 being popular now what are the sources of blue light it's actually found everywhere i just came from outside it was a sunny day, hence the sunlight is the most natural form of blue light and it tells our body it's daytime, it's time to wake up, it elevates mood, makes us more alert and maintains our circadian rhythm or the human clock in very good levels. Then there is this sort of light, this is the artificial blue light form that we see in our smartphone screens, LED lightning, television, e-books computers and other electronic devices that do offer a screen. Now, in general, looking at your smartphone screen during daytime could be fine, it's fine, but continual exposure to blue light, especially during night, but, but especially during bedtime, like seriously disrupts our circadian rhythm. And that's because blue light stimulates the brain and fools it into thinking it's daytime, right? And melatonin, which is the hormone that uh, the pineal gland into the brain produces in response to darkness so that you can sleep, guess what? It crashes, crashes because of this. Hence, this causes sleep problem. The next day you'll feel fatigue, you'll feel eye strain, and then is also linked to other issues like blurry vision, dry eyes, and with age, it also contributes to cataracts. Now that we do have some general knowledge about blue light, at least I hope so, let's see what we can do to encounter this issue. And this is where OcuShield comes in this video. So this brand has medically rated its products, uh, blocking 99% of harmful UV and blue light between 300 to 400 nanometer. You can find all those details uh, into their website and also reduced to up to 40% the blue light between 400 to 470. OcuShield really does great at protecting eyes and improves sleep after screen use. And guess what? Devices do retain perfectly their colors and dynamics even after applying these screen protectors that filter out the harmful blue light without warming up the colors of your display. Now, I did receive these two screen protectors, one that goes to my iPhone 12 Pro Max and the other that goes to my MacBook Pro. So I took the time to build up this review so that I could give you guys uh, my long-term experience about these screen protectors, about the advantages of this, and of course the final results. Now let's start first with the packages. They shipped pretty quick and each came with all the accessories needed for the installation process. So regarding it, the application phase while applying the screen protector on my phone was super easy. No bubbles, really precise installation, like, like perfect alignment in each corner. And all the steps are described like very clearly uh, into the packages and the manuals so that you can apply it correctly. The monitor screen protector offers two methods uh, to attach the screen protector onto your monitor and they are explained very well um, in figures right in the back side, as you can see. Uh, so there you can choose your preferred one. Now the screen protector on the iPhone reflects into a violent tint when screen is off and this is because of the specs they have pulled on this screen protector, all those filters infused together, especially the anti-blue one. And that's why it gives this uh, sort of violet tint. Now, screen protector itself feels very solid, very high quality. The feel of the protector while touching is very smooth, no friction or whatsoever. The display looks really gorgeous and colors don't change, they do remain true. 
quality of the tempered glass is noticeable and I have observed that even after two months of use, this cream protector kinda remains uh, clean in, in itself. And guess what? They use some sort of antibacterial coating to their screen protector. Same goes to the monitor screen protector. Actually, same goes to all their products. Now, in contrast, the monitor screen protector has a matte finish, sort of, not reflective at all, as you can tell. Uh, it infuses a privacy filter, and with that, it reduces the total brightness of your display at a certain degree. Now, when looking that center, uh, since our eyes do have a wider vision, I noticed on the sides, on the lateral sides, like uh, this part, uh, would uh, get sort of a vignetting on the two sides, right? But very soon I got used to it. Maybe you cannot notice it, but I'll try to make a better shot. So this could be great for students, for those who need some privacy while working on their laptop, but not great for couples or friends that sit together um, to watch a movie because of the vignetting you may experience while sitting slightly on the side, right? Because, yeah, just for a demonstration, yeah, there you have it. Uh, but in this case, you can use the removable method, which uh, allows you to remove uh, the screen protector anytime you want and then put it back in. So that's a great solution from Shield. So it has been almost two months since I applied these screen protectors on my two devices and I'm telling you that has been a fantastic experience over time. The anti-blue filter really does an amazing job since day one. I can tell the difference like immediately. Eyes do feel more relaxed just looking at my laptop like uh, for six, seven hours while I do editing or watching YouTube or movies. I mean, it's like just easier to look at. No eye strain or whatsoever, no fatigue, and because, yeah, I sleep sooner, and in general, it's a smoother experience over time. And here I'm also comparing to regular screen protectors that I used in the past, that you usually find on the market. For me, these anti-blue filters that go in devices are now part of my health tech. I do think they are a legit upgrade that increases life quality in today's digital stage. Now, if you don't have an anti-blue filter screen protector, what you can do is that, now usually the latest smartphones do have, should all have uh, some sort of eye shield. Uh, for example, only Samsung is known as uh, uh, eye comfort shield. On the iPhone is known as uh, true tone. And once you turn it on, the colors of the screen become warmer, sort of yellow, and this helps to protect your eyes. Now, the downside of this method, as you may have guessed, is that you lose the true colors of your display and, and the dynamics. In contrast, with OcuShield, colors do remain true. That's what makes it more professional, because they have put a lot of effort so that you enjoy the best experience. It blocks the harmful blue light. I mean, that's legit and retains the true colors of your phone's display or your laptop. That's great. To sum it all, here's what I think. This is a new way of health against new tech that we love, touch and see every day. We do live in this new age of digital tech. It has become the most popular way of interacting with each other. Making interviews through Zoom calls, working while sitting on a chair and looking at your screen like all day non-stop. You know, participating to events through video calls, texting on our cell phones, on our mobiles like all day. We are being exposed to blue light and because of that we need to take like seriously precautions against the negative effects of blue light. And this is one way. I'm intending to wear all my new devices with this sort of anti-blue light screen protectors because I do notice the benefits and I do recommend this to every one of you that are watching this video and who stay in their screens like most of the day. Do it for yourself and maybe after some time also recommend it to the ones you care about. And that's pretty much it. I really hope you found this video helpful and interesting. So if you're interested to purchase any of these products, please check the links in the description below. And if you have any comment or question related to these products, please write them down below in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer you. I'm Henry. Thanks a lot for watching again. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.